Mm, I think that we can put our differences behind us. With science. You monster. Hi, my friends call me Lime and do homophobes dislike homosexuality because they themselves have homosexual attraction? Whenever homonegative people speak out against homosexuality, I'm thinking, why do you care so much how other grown people express their love for each other if you don't like same-sex relations and just don't have them? And their response is that gay sex is a threat to their whole society and that to me is like claiming that a banana can kill you because it contains potassium and therefore is a little bit radioactive. They are blowing things way out of proportion. And most of their arguments don't even justify negative attitudes against homosexuality. For example, when they point to HIV, then I'm thinking that this isn't really about HIV. Because whenever straights get sexually transmitted diseases, then nobody blames the entire sexuality for it. Instead, they try to do something about the STD specifically and encourage use of condoms and so on. And there's no reason whatsoever not to have the same focus when it comes to gays. And when they claim that gays are more promiscuous, that is, switching sexual partners more often, then I'm not really sure if that's true and if it is, why it is a problem, but let's say it is, then they should be supporting the gays in long-term relationships, but they don't, so it's not about that either. So, where does this homophobia come from? Well, in one research, a number of men answered questionnaires about their sexuality and their attitudes against homosexuality, and then they were shown video clips with homosexual and heterosexual content while an instrument measured how their penises reacted. And the results were that those who identified as heterosexuals and were homophobic showed significant erection and arousal when it came to homosexual content, while the heterosexuals who were not homophobic did not. And the research concluded that homophobia might be associated with latent homosexuality, which is homosexual attraction that the person is either unaware of or denies. And the study says that this might be an example of reaction formation. Let's say that people around you teach homonegative values and you have latent attraction for people of the same sex. When you're in a situation where this attraction is triggered, then a defense mechanism can kick in, making you react in opposition to these feelings. Which in this case means that homosexual attraction is turned into anger, hate or fear towards homosexuals and homosexuality. This paper has been criticized though, for example, one, some claim that measuring penile responses isn't a perfect method of measuring sexual interest, and two, some argue that the homophobes who showed uh, erection and arousal to homosexual content might just be reacting on their own fear of homosexuality because there's a paper concluding that anxiety can also increase erection and arousal. However, this critique can be criticized, but more about that in the next video. Now, a method that however is considered reliable when measuring sexual interest is checking how long subjects view specific erotic pictures and interestingly enough, a research that used this method didn't reach the conclusion that homophobia is associated with latent homosexuality. However, I found a third paper, this time using an eye tracker along with the picture viewing to check how long the subjects viewed specific areas and the research concluded that some, but not all, homophobic men have homosexual interest. I want to emphasize though that none of this is proven, correlation isn't causation. I just found it interesting to share some science behind this. Personally, I don't think that it's black and white, so I'm leaning towards the conclusion of the last research 
that some are homophobes because of latent homosexuality and some are not. For example, some are taught homonegativity and some are for other reasons, some of which I will discuss in the next episode. Now, with all this talk about reaction formation, one might wonder if latent homosexuality can make someone homophobic then does it work the other way around? Can hate cause sexual and romantic attraction? Well, that thought would kind of be dangerous because it would play into the hands of people who believe in correction rape. You know the people who, for example, rape their homosexual daughters in order to try to turn them straight? The argument would then be that they would begin to hate men or at least sex with men and repress that and when they find that hate unacceptable then they would begin to love sex with men and that is complete nonsense. I've asked three psychologists and all say that rape does not make someone go from gay to straight or vice versa. Rape Raping a homosexual woman might affect which men she would want to become friends with though, which makes me conclude that reaction formation is limited to the sexuality that you already have. And by that, I mean that latent homosexuality does not make you go from gay to straight, but reaction formation might keep you in denial and make you develop hate towards homosexuality, which is a different thing. And homophobia does not make you go from straight to gay, but reaction formation might make you develop strong platonic love for a gay person or might make you love fighting for gay rights. Now, any homonegative person who continues to argue that reaction formation can make someone gay, arguing that homosexuality isn't born, it's made, then let me repeat that it would mean that homophobia can turn someone gay. And if so, then I would stop teaching homophobia if I were you. So that is it for this part. In the next part, I will be discussing if homophobes are aroused by their own fear of homosexuality based on this paper that said that anxiety can increase sexual arousal. Now, there's a lot of interesting and weird implications to this, so let's discuss that. See you in that episode. Thanks for watching. Bye.